So you talk about the beautiful history and tradition that came with Sister Wilhelmina's legacy. She also, when founding her own community through this, this calling from the Holy Spirit, wanted to turn toward more tradition, a habit when people were leaving habits. What does that tell us about her legacy as well? It's very important. Um, I think when we uh, think about what it has meant to be Catholic, it's important to remember that it has meant many things, and many things, and that's also true for the Black Catholic experience. There is no one monolithic experience. She is coming from a community. Now, the Oblate Sisters of Providence and the African American Sisterhoods never, in fact, ever abandoned the habit. Some of them wore modified habits, but any member was still allowed to wear the traditional uh, habit of their communities. But I certainly understand, um, in the case of Sister Wilhelmina's love for the Latin Mass and the Gregorian chant, um, that she wanted to, in fact, um, return to a tradition that she had not been allowed to participate in, certainly when she first wanted to enter religious life. Um, she also felt called to a contemplative vocation, which is different from the African-American sisterhoods. The African-American sisterhoods, except for one, were apostolic communities, meaning that they were teaching and nursing communities, um, or teaching communities, uh, the African-American sisterhoods were teaching communities, um, except for one contemplative community um, that was founded in 1922 that was segregated. Um, so what this reminds us, too, is an opportunity for women who felt called to religious life uh, prior to the Second Vatican Council, prior to those reforms, who would not have been able to enter those kinds of communities to have those kinds of opportunities. Um, it's a really interesting story. A really, um, um, It's a really important story that reminds us, again, of the great diversity of what is the Black Catholic experience. And so what would it mean then if we have not only currently three African-American sisters on the road to sainthood, but if indeed um, the our, the diocese does find cause to open Sister Wilhelmina's um, uh, uh, canonization cause, sainthood cause, what would it mean to really sort of showcase uh, the great diversity and beauty of the Black Catholic experience um, um, across um, across the spectrum? And I think um, Sister Wilhelmina's story certainly does bridge those stories and bridge those gaps. Yes, and speaks to that greater experience. Well, thank you so much, Shannon. It's so wonderful to have you on. Thank you for having me.